I'm Anushka of class 10 from Satyakam International School would like to share an interesting story that actually happened at my home and gave me an awestrucking idea to create a project on biofertilizer as you can see here. So the story goes like this. One day I was sitting at my home with my mother and my mother was peeling off the vegetables for lunch and all of a sudden she threw all the peelings in the dustbin. A thought stuck in my mind. Can these peelings be reused for good work? Yes, of course, these peelings can be used to make a biofertilizer. Now, what do you understand by a biofertilizer? A biofertilizer is a substance which consists of living microorganism which when applied to the soil or the plant surface colonize the rhizosphere or the interior of the plants and promotes growth by increasing the supply or availability of primary nutrients to the host plant. How does biofertilizer work? It fixes the atmospheric nitrogen in the soil and root nodules of the legume crop and makes it available to the plants. It solubilizes the insoluble form of phosphate like tricalcium, iron and aluminium phosphate into available forms. It also decomposes the organic matter and help in the soil mineralization. It also scavenges the phosphate from soil layers and produces various hormones and antimetabolites that supports the root growth. Now what is the importance of biofertilizer? Biofertilizer have a great importance in increasing the crop production that is helpful to the farmers for doing an organic farming. They also produces different growth promoting hormones and phytohormones to the plant. It do not leave any residual effect like that of the chemical fertilizers. Hence the use of biofertilizer could be the proper option for sustainable agriculture. Organic matter biofertilizer Organic matter are great for making biofertilizer because they contain many micro and macronutrients, living beneficial microorganisms and various hormones that supports the plant. So the material that you require is a plastic bucket, water, organic matter and your personal protective equipment. So the procedure is take the organic matter. I have taken this miniature of the plastic bucket. I put it, the organic matter in the plastic bucket. I add some water in it and place the lid on the plastic bucket. Now leave this for 4 weeks or longer for an anaerobically fermentation that is without mixing or aerating. Once this process was complete, you can now separate the nutrient rich water and the organic material. One can redo this process if requires more nutrient water. Now apply this nutrient rich water in the soil or spray on the plants and apply as needed. Friends, I have used this in my garden and my garden seems to be very intensely lushy and green these days. So these small experiments in the daily use can change a few things. Thank you and have a cheerful day.